Hey, hey, what's up guys? This is me, my friend Captain D. I was the back with another weekly tech updates. And this is the part, or you can say, episode 38 of it. After a long time, I'm back into the weekly tech updates. So, without any further ado, let's get started with the weekly tech updates. 38. Let's start off with the Google's Android 13 updates. Uh, the final beta is officially available for those who are testing into the beta and you know. And uh, we are near to the launch of the official Android 13. And uh, there are some supported smartphones already available. And uh, companies have already distributed their supported smartphone list. And not so many companies have distributed, but soon we will be seeing a huge list of the smartphones which are going to be receiving updates. If you know, let us know in the comment section if your smartphone is going to be updating. Kind of a say a crazy news, a Chrome OS, if you know, it is a type of a small ended operating system which is based on the Chrome and basically it's like a full-fledged laptop experience on laptop basically. There are Chrome OS based laptops also. But there is an option and now the official Chrome OS flags has been opened up. So you can go and search for the Google and if you have an old or you can say not so much good then you can update yourself with this Chrome OS Flex and uh, you can flex out in the public. With Chrome OS it is kind of a really lightweight and it is available for the older PCs and older Macs so yeah this is a really nice thing. Google's Buds which are known by the Google Pixel Buds Pro are going to be appearing in the Indian market and uh, the pre-order is going to be starting from the July 21st and officially will be available at the July 26th and these are you know kind of say really into affordable range which is around 199 and soon this guy will be available for the Indian market so yeah if you are into a Google or you can say pixels type of lineups then you can go and grab this one because it is kind of really fun to own a good ecosystem that TWS which is merged to grow and kind of a day they have been shown on the application of the Samsung. So that is a really real big chance that the unpacked event of the August from the Samsung they might get unveiled over there. And followed by the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip and the Z Fold also were been spotted for the carrier aggregation and the raw stuff. So yeah, there are some really really you know great chances that these two devices will also be launching with this August 10th unpacked the event yeah i'm thinking about the august 10th what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section down below uh, nokia and they have kind of a they, you know smallish type of uh, into a market of uh, smartphones you know basic smartphones and the tablets they have launched a nokia tab 10 and uh, tab t10 basically and kind of a say this is uh, looking a lot like that t20 tablet but yeah we got some cool things going on and it might be even budgetified on as compared to that version followed by three basic phones and uh, don't judge me on the model names uh, one is a normal looking phone one is a flippable phone and one is actually having a TWS built in inside the phone we have seen a lot of type of say a fake or you can say cheap Chinese type of phones of them but this is from actual brand which is Nokia and the kind of a say it is interesting if I will be seeing that it's gonna be you know catching my mind. Followed by there are some really really big chances of the Nokia the T10 tab and also followed by that basic smartphone. I don't know about other of two which are flavorable and that TWS based but that basic smartphone and the tablet might be coming to the Indian market. And the Nokia C21 Plus has officially got unveiled into the Indian market. It is a kind of a budget fire based Android based or complete Android based or software experience is there. So yeah, if you like to go into that uh, ecosystem of you know no bloatwares, nothing on the top, you can grab it. Xiaomi 12 Lite and this is not into the S series, uh, this is the normal 12 Lite. It got a 108 megapixel camera setup, um 778 by G processor, and it is having that typical Xiaomi design, which is you know in the grand. And yeah, this is into a smallish type of budget device. Yeah, if you are thinking, you can grab it. Redmi K50 X Pro, and this has been officially tailored to launch. It is going to be having Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor, followed by a unique type of design. And this might be a new off to into a gaming smartphone. And this smartphone might be, you know, going to be rebranding and coming to India as a Poco based phone. 
but there are really really not few chances that the Redmi K50 as a pro officially come to India that will be interesting um, Oppo Find X 5 Pro seriously I'm excited for the smartphone basically it is going to be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 and followed by a unique type of design going to be appearing on the smartphone this will be unique as compared to the older version as usual and this smartphone will be having some of the coolest thing and it is kind of a way it is likely that this smartphone will be also launching with the Find N2 yeah the foldable smartphone I'm again super excited Oppo Reno 8 series the final this smartphone are going to be coming in India with the Marvel Silicon X is actually on this device followed by the date July 18th is a uh, launch date or you can say the pre-order date the smartphone is going to be appearing it is having a snapdragon 8100 max no diamond city basically 8100 no they hadn't built just snapdragon it is media like diamond city 8100 max and if you want to know more about the things of the specification check out the link in the description down below and on the top you can also check for the oppo pad air and there are some chances that this tablet will also be launching few few Okay, if I'm talking about the Oppo tablet, then why not Realme Pad X? And this tablet is really, really fun. Basically, it got a 2K display, a good quality 5G processor, which is the Snapdragon 870, and also on the top of it, it is priced in China, 15,000 converted to INR. This is crazy. If it comes around the budget of the 20 to 25. INR 20 to 25,000 INR, then this is gonna be really, really fun tablet. You know, I'm super excited. It, you know, really didn't catch up the market, but if it comes to India, it will really catch up the market because tablet market in India is currently on the high. IQ 9T, and this is kind of a very interesting smartphone. Basically, I'm excited. The design and the all stuff is currently going into the vendors, and uh, everyone is moving it up. Basically, a uh, kind of a safe video of this smartphone was officially leaked uh, and uh, it shows the phone of the unboxing and the other stuff. I didn't talk the, uh, in detail about the specification. But I'm genuinely excited because, you know, 9 series is really fun and this a T version, you know, doesn't create his space, but I'm still excited. The IQ 10 series also followed by, you know, 9 series hasn't came, 9 T hasn't came down and 10 series no more going on. Anyways, um, official power supply update, which is of the adapters, it is 120 watt, 200 watt. It is not like a power adapter which will be supporting 120 watt to 200 watt. No, the 10 room, I guess, it gonna be having the 200 watt of power adapter inside the box. Basically, just think of that. I kept my phone auto charging. Boom! Within a second, it is charged. Yeah, what will be the battery capacity then? <laughs> Anyways, let's think of that series. It is kind of a say creating some sort of hype in me. Um, I was the OnePlus, um, OnePlus 10T, and this smartphone will be having 16 GB RAM followed by 500 gigs of internal storage. Just think of that thing in a sec, and uh, you are doing your stuff within a second. Uh, this smartphone is also creating a lot of hype uh, you know this complete bbk mobiles is hype type of company for me techno camon 19 series uh, from that techno camon 19 neo and uh, this smartphone are basically targeting a lot into the design so if you are like a tech type of person then you can definitely wear this smartphone if you are interested of the specification then check out the link in the description down below we have talked about each and every smartphone from the pro 5g2 Anyways, this smartphone is going to be expected to launch by the July 15th and uh, soon this smartphone is going to be, you know, creating a lot of that much sensation thoughts in your mind that this phone or any type of uh, that phone in that price point. It is a that much good looking smartphone. Let's see which smartphone are going to be going, followed by 19 Neo. So, the iPhone 14 lineup, you know, everything is going on into your mind that this type of thing and design are going to be coming. But there is a kind of a slightly disagreement going on with the 14 max design center or stuff. The supply chain has been affected. I don't know why, but it might be due to some issues which are technical and every time it happens. But anyways, the 14 max display supply chain has been caved up to the issue. And the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max will be a biggest highlight 
not compared to the 14 and the 14 Max because uh, you know that devices are going to be having a big upgrades and the camera bump too because they're gonna be getting bigger just imagine this much a big camera bump your half of the case is covered covering the camera bump so yeah it's kind of you know something different but still it is a good quality camera anyways it is coming really soon and uh, there are some chances that the 14 pro and the 14 pro max comes in the first week and then the 14 and the 14 max that's i thought okay iphone 14 hasn't came up the 15 things are going on though the smartphone hasn't came up there are some leaks going on that the smartphone will be adopting the periscope telephoto sensor and removing the telephoto sensor and you know it is kind of a apple thing but i'm super excited again and this smartphone will be having a big upgrade into the telephoto sensor and followed by 16 will be also following that same thing yeah i don't know why companies make a fake iphone lookalike smartphone um le tv y2 pro and this is a uh, basically a cheap look of the iphone 13 or 13 mini whatever you want to call it it is having a price point as compared to the chinese converted to the india 7100 INR. so yeah it is looking uh really really fake and i think the camera module has been proven really wrong okay okay asus zenfone 9 you know this guy this is really excited from the smartphones which are from the asus uh, you know they are like um just make a smartphone which is different and they actually lose that so the smartphone is going to be launching by the july and it is uh, targeting the date of 28 yeah it is really near and i'm super excited for this it is going to be having snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 processor and yeah it got a really cool type of design which is different but it looks different no don't think that way it looks different Zelda Exxon 40 Pro and the smartphone is going to be launching globally with the Snapdragon 870 processor Android 12 out of box and I'm super excited when the Ultra will be coming globally because you know the smartphone got a really really good stuff Ultra so that 200 megapixel camera sensor from the Motorola the design and other stuff is going on and this smartphone is going to be you know naming by the Motorola X30 Ultra and you know there were some cool names going on regarding the smartphone but no they are like just give it something different and they came up with the x30 ultra 30 series is going on but anyways the 200 megapixels is important if they are given a new type of series name to this then it is gonna be really fun but you we will be appreciating about the smartphone too but make it in a way that everyone appreciate it don't make it like 200 one phone 200 second phone third fourth please make it a uh, different option motorola um kind of a say that flippable smartphone officially got in the 2022 version and this smartphone is adopting that dual camera setup as we go the liquid going on and i am again excited because you know the people market and the foldable market are really booming it up okay so the nothing phone one and this smartphone you know i have created a lot of hype and officially got unveiled about Mm, it is making some sense also what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section down below basically i'm thinking for something different type of phone from the nothing and they have just you know that clear back is going on and there are small small stuff is there basically it is assembled in india so that's a really good point so in the indian market it's gonna be cheaper yeah, we're gonna keep it up to that we got some really really big news uh, Personally, that fake iPhone, uh, I don't think we're talking about that. Zenfone 9, Asus Zenfone 9, yeah, it is really, really fun. Motorola's uh, Edge 30 Ultra, X30 Ultra also, X30 Pro also, but yeah, you're gonna call it X Edge 30 Ultra. X Edge 30 Ultra? No, Edge 30 Ultra. Anyways, and also we got uh, news regarding that, uh, what do you say, Nokia has a tablet, and yeah make something different and make sure you come back it's uh, the aim and yeah that's all for this week make sure you give us like and share among those who want to get updated because liking will be appreciating and pressing that subscribe button will be appreciating our work more 
and by pressing the bell icon you will be staying tuned to the channel and you will be getting yourself updated with the tech world this was captain diaras you are watching kiaras and diaras i'll catch you in the next video stay safe stay connected peace out